Howdy, I'm Robert Carter from the Museum of York County, where I'm an educator and interpreter, and it's time for another wild wonder. And this time our wild wonder is the common katydid. You've probably heard them before on those hot summer nights where they say, Katie did, Katie didn't. So here we have the often heard, but rarely seen, common true Katie did. Now they are related to crickets and grasshoppers, but you can tell that their body shape is a little bit different than and the scientific name is Pterophila camelifolia. So the genus name Pterophila means leaf wing, and you can tell why when you look at the wing of the of the katydid, you can actually see veins in there, just like you would see in a leaf. And the species name is camelifolia because it looks like the animal is somewhat humped. Now this animal likes to stay in the tops of the trees. That's why it's rarely seen, but you hear it at night. And when you hear it at night, it is not making vocalization, it's what we call a stridulation. It's where it's rubbing its forewings together, and it's primarily the males that do this, and they're doing that to attract a female. This is a female we have here. You can see the kind of sword-like structure that comes out of the abdomen. Okay, and this is the ovipositor. This is how the female will lay eggs, and she'll lay them up in some loose bark or maybe in a, a young stem, and then next, the following summer, then the eggs will hatch and the, the life cycle will start again. Now they feed on vegetation and they're very, very well camouflaged. You can see that they actually do look much like a leaf and you rarely see them fly. And they're actually not very good at flying. They prefer to hop. Now we mentioned their, the noises that they make and they have different dialects. They're found all over the Eastern United States, but when you go to different parts of the country, they can sound slightly different. So until our next wild wonder, get out there and explore your Carolina world. <laughs>